Welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. My name is Valerie Bennett. Um, I'm coming live to you today just because I was in my craft room working on a patriotic wreath and I just wanted to invite you in to watch me make a bow. Um, hopefully my daughter will be on here in a minute. We're trying to practice um, using her as my moderator and I see her. Hey Casey, I was hoping that you were going to show, um, it says press enter to post. I don't know if that's for me or for you, but it doesn't show you as my moderator. So let me see if I need to adjust something here. Hmm. Doesn't show how to make you go in. Hey, Kara, how are you? I know, I know. I'm trying to test some equipment, and I've got my daughter. Um, I'm trying to set her up as my moderator for uh, a live I'm going to do on Sunday. And I set her up as moderator, but it doesn't let her make comments as me. So anyway, um, glad you said, hey, Kara. I, I know we have a Zoom call with Al, and I'm going to map to miss it. So um, go ahead. I know you got to go to that. So, Casey, I guess we're going to have to figure out what, you know, what we need to do to get that to work. Um, now it's working, Casey. Now it shows you as me. Perfect. Okay, great. Great. Okay. Okay, so anyway, I was working on a patriotic wreath. And this one is turning out so pretty. And I need to make the bow. And so I was going to go ahead and show you how to make a bow on the Easy Bow Maker. But let me just stand back and show you this first. Um, this one is really, really going to be a big wreath. I love the truck. It says, God bless America. It's got the little flag on it. This is a big, full wreath. It has layers of the uh, border striped mesh in ruffles. I have 30 inch pieces that I cut and ruffled in all 18 ties. And then I went back and put in rolls and I put rolls in the blue and the white with the silver um, just to give it a little extra sparkle. I thought that was so pretty. And then of course I've done my ribbons and my plan is to make one large bow right here. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on a bow. Hope everybody's doing good today. And please, if you're if you're here, please comment and uh, let me know that you're here. So here is the Easy Bow Maker and the ribbons that we are going to use today. Let me get these out. I have six ribbons, and we're going to do the two one two one two one method. Uh, what that is, is two loops of a two and a half inch ribbon. Then you'll do one loop of a one and a half inch ribbon. Then you'll come back with another two and a half inch ribbon. And I may do this one. I'm not sure which order I want to do them. And then another one and a half, another two and a half, and then another one and a half. So uh, I think that I love this one, the red, white, and blue stars. So I think that I'm going to let this one be the, the first one that I put down. It is a gorgeous day here today in Alabama. Um, would you rather I zoom in on the bone maker? Can you guys see that? Let me angle it down just a little bit because it doesn't look like you're going to be able to see what I'm doing on the table. There. I think that might be a little bit better. Can you see that, Casey? Can you see the, the bone maker a little bit easier now? Since it's going to be on the bottom, I'm going to make a large tail. And I think I'm going to make about, well, let's start off with a 15 inch tail. Now, I'll probably cut it down, but we'll start off with that. So I've, I've pinched it together or gathered it together. I put it in the Easy Bow Maker, and we're going to start off with a six inch loop. So I'm going to just turn it so the ugly side is up. 
and make sure it's nice and smooth inside those pegs and then lay it down and the nice thing about the easy bow maker is it has your measurements on here so you'll know that you are um, where you want to be okay so I'm going to just take my ribbon and go to the six inch mark I think I want it six maybe maybe about six and a half because I want the bow to be very prominent all right then we're going to twist it let me out some ribbon here I'm going to bring all my tails down make this loop six and a half inches Okay, we're going to do two loops on each side, so I'm going to twist it again, make another loop, and please say hi as you come on. I'd appreciate knowing you're here. All right, so here we're going to make this one again about a six and a half, and just lay it on top of your previous loop. That is your best guide to know that you're the same. Okay twist and we're coming back right here and we are making another six and a half inch loop letting my previous loop be my guide and then I'm going to pull my tail down and I'll just use this one as my guide there to cut I'm seeing people on but I don't see comments hey Peggy how are you <laughs> better view thank you yeah I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a check with my um, my uh, equipment because that sometimes seems to be my biggest downfall is my equipment hi Mary how are you Rainbow City Alabama where you're where's Rainbow City is that closer up towards Birmingham I'm in Auburn Alabama uh, my daughter is the moderator today she is answering you as Val's visions and designs and this is what we were testing today so I will have her set up now so if I'm not able to greet you right away she'll be able to see you and greet you all right so we have our two loops um, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull one loop up and one loop down and this way you can see continue to see your guide okay so the two one two one next is we're going to do a one and a half inch ribbon so I have this one and a half inch and yeah, inch striped red and white striped I'm gonna also make my tail the same length as the tail I just made because we'll cut these later we're gonna twist it and this loop can be the exact same size as the longer loop because it's gonna sit in the middle of it all right so we're gonna take that loop down and I'm gonna use one of those as my guide scoot up a little bit I feel like I'm a mile back here all right and then over here the same size loop now the one and a half inch loop we're only going to make one loop on each side and then I'm going to bring it down 60 miles north of Birmingham okay you're all yeah well war eagle then Mary even though my daughter's on here and she's an Alabama fan but you know how we are in Alabama you're, you're one or the other <laughs> and if anybody comes to visit in Alabama you got to declare one so okay so we've got the uh, one loop up one loop down one loop up one loop down and then see this striped one is going to fall right in the middle okay so we're going to go with with another two and a half inch ribbon and I could, you know, this Easy Bow Maker comes with this nice little peg to hold your ribbon, but every time I try to use it, it seems like it just gets in my way, but I'm going to try it. So you just kind of want to gather up your thicker ribbon and pinch it and then put it down in those pegs. Of course, I want my, I want my tail just a little bit longer, so I'm just going to pull that out just a little bit more. Now this time, we are going to go a little bit smaller on the loop. We're going to twist it so the ugly side is up. And I'm going to go to about the six inch mark on this one. See how it gets in the way? <laughs> I'm just uncoordinated, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're going to twist it, ugly sides up. 
That way when we bring it over, the pretty side will be up. And we're going to come to our six inch mark on the Easy Bow Maker. Mary, do you craft? I know that Peggy does. We're going to do two loops, so I'm going to do another loop exactly the same size on this side. And then we're going to twist. Hey. Okay. And we're going to make another loop. I don't know if that Etsy shop link worked or not, Casey. It says Etsy shop. Alright, and then I'm going to bring this down and make this loop exactly the same size as this loop. It'll be my guide. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let me go ahead and put the rubber band around it. You do? Great. Oh, you're welcome. I, I, I'd love to be able to teach. And uh, like I said, it was such a pretty day today, and I was making this for my patriotic wreath anyway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this bow up, I mean this loop, and this loop up, this loop down. That way, these two, when we pull them up, will land over each other. And that striped one's going to stay in the middle. All right, now I'm going to come back in with another one and a half inch loop. And they're not going to stay perfectly in the bow maker, but that's when we fluff it. That's when we'll get it all fixed. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to decide which one I want to end up with on the top. I think I love this one to end up on the top. It's a, it's a pretty red and white stripe, but I do need to open it. This is a brand new roll of ribbon. Most everything I'm using today um, either came from the Reef Shop or Trendy Tree. Uh, I just got in this new ribbon from the race shop. I ordered it, and I just absolutely love it. Isn't that pretty? It's lots of sparkle. You've got your blue and your red and your white. So uh, I was real tickled with this one, and I love the texture of it. Um, it's a good heavy ribbon. This um, Sometimes you get them, and you know, it's hard to know when you're buying them if they're going to be exactly what you want them to be. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to save that one for the top, and I'm going to come in with just a red, white, and blue. And again, we're just going to go ahead and put in our tail in between those pegs. And we're going to make this loop the same size as the previous loop we just made, because it's going to rest again in the middle. So it can be the exact same size as the loop we just did in this patterned look right here and again when you're you're fluffing your your bow you can always make adjustments if one loop doesn't seem to be um as you know as big as it needs to be or should be a little bit larger and yes thank you <laughs> thank you casey please like and share uh, show me some hearts let me know you're having fun watching i hope everybody's having a good day today all right, I'm going to bring another one over here, and I'm going to just make sure it's the same loop as that pattern loop that I just did. And then it's uh, nice and neat in those pegs. We don't want it to get all tangled up in the pegs. All right, and then we'll just bring this one down using the previous as my guide. And we'll put this one away. So we have this one now that we're going to do two loops on each side. I can already tell that one looks a little long. I'm going to pull that one in just a little bit. Sometimes they will shift a little bit in your bow maker. Just push them down in there nice and tight uh, so that you can keep them together. Okay, so my new favorite, this one right here. We're going to make two loops on each side bring down my tail all right we got the pretty side up we need the ugly side up so you need to twist it 
as close to that base as you can get, as close to those pegs. Twist it. And this loop is going to be even a little bit smaller now. Uh, let's make this loop about five and a half inches. So kind of move my stack to where I can see where five and a half inches is. This main thing is to make sure that it's smaller than these loops, otherwise these loops won't show. If this loop is too big, um, it's going to end up covering up this loop underneath, and you don't want that to happen. You don't want them to get covered up. All right, we're going to twist it. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to make about a five and a half inch loop. Pull all of our tails down. And I'm looking for this one to make sure I'm smaller than that one. And looks like I'm about pretty close. We're going to twist it. This is going to be a big bow. A very big bow. Alright, make another loop exactly the same size. And then twist it. Make this loop the same size. Push it down in there tight. And then pull your tail and use the previous tail as your guide to cut it by. And we'll just cut right there. Alright, and now we're just going to do one last loop, and that's going to be with the uh, red and white striped sparkle. Again, you can kind of see how your, your bow is beginning to form. If you just put one loop up, one loop down, one loop up, and one loop down, you can see how it's going to begin to form. Like I said, it's going to be a large bow, but I have a very large wreath that I want to put it on. Alright, so we're going to come in again with our last one. We're going to do one bow, I mean one loop, I'm sorry, one loop on each side. And this loop can be the same size as this one, but since it's our final bow, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller than that one. This is pretty. I love this ribbon. I, I love these two on the top. I think they're my favorites. All right, and we're going to pull that tail down. Now, I haven't dovetailed anything yet. Um, I'll do that when we actually get it on the um, fluff box and then get it on the wreath so we'll know about how big we want it to be. So I'm going to push it down in here really, really tight. And at this point, I'm going to grab a twist tie. Not a twist tie. I'm sorry. A uh, cable tie. Cable tie. I have my wire ready to add to it. And this is just about, I think this is about a 20, 20 gauge, 22 gauge um, piece of wire. So we're going to take this and just try to slip it under all this stack. And I'm probably going to stand up here just so I don't lose any of it. You just want to lift up your bow and slide this under it. Bring it up and start to go ahead and pull that zip tie. But you don't want to pull it all the way yet. Just keep it there until you can lift it up. And make sure you have all of it in your hand. Hold tight to it. Slide that twist tie, the zip tie, around to the back. And this is when I just take the whole stack and lay it down so I don't lose any of it. And then I'm going to slip my wire. Before it's tight, I'm going to slip that wire right inside. And then I like to wrap it around. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more, but not completely tight yet because I want to be sure I can still move my loops around. Once you get it tight, um, you can't really move your loops that well. So now you've got your whole stack. Tighten just a little bit more. You just want to, in your hands, before I put it on the fluff box, just kind of move your loops. You go back to the back, take the first two that you did, which were the um, stars. 
So you want to lift one up and lift one down. All right, this one, the striped one was in the center. Come and get this pattern lifted up and lift the other one down. That one's up. Trying to get this other one. Get this one to come down. All right. Next we did this one. It should just be striped. It should be in the middle. All right. We have the other two and a half inch. We're going to pull that up. The other one down. This one will go up. This one will go down. And then we'll leave our striped right here in the middle. And I think I may still make that loop just a little bit smaller so you can adjust your loops before you tighten your stack. Once you tighten your stack, it's going to be much harder. Then you want to make sure all of your tails are down. And once your tails are all down, then we can go ahead and tighten up the zip tie. And we won't have to worry about any of these coming out. So now I'm going to make it tight. And just cut that zip tie away. And I'm going to get a fluff box. I don't know if any of y'all have a fluff box, but these really come in handy. Hey, Laura. Um, Casey and I are practicing today. She is my moderator, my daughter. I have set her up. And she is answering and sending out links on my behalf under Val's Visions and Design. So we're going to be going live again on Sunday, and I just wanted to be sure that we had everything set up the way we needed it to be. So we are making a patriotic bow, and now I'm going to put this in my fluff box. And a fluff box is just a heavy piece of wood that you can get to hold your, um, your bow down so that you can fluff it. You don't have to have a fluff box, but it really does help if you do, okay? So now we can go in here, and I'm going to have to stand up because I can't do it sitting down. So I'm going to grab the stars. And you can also do this on your wreath. Um, you know, I may just get it started here, and then I'm going to put it on my big, my big nice wreath, and then I'll finish the fluffing there. So we're going to go all those stripes. Straighten it all the way down to the base. Uh, Laura, we're doing the two, one, two, one loop. Or bow. All right, here's my stripe. It's supposed to land in the middle. I have that one. Landed in the middle. All right, the next one was this patterned blue one. I'm going to straighten that one up, fluff it up, one up, one down. Again, straighten it down by the base. Keep pulling those tails down. They get stubborn, they want to get in your way. The next was my um, red, white, and blue stripe, the one and a half inch. It should be landing in the middle. All right, this real pretty red, white, and blue up here. This is two and a half inch. So one's going to go up, one's going to go down. How's everybody doing? I see people, but I don't see anybody talking. My daughter is moderating. She is practicing becoming my moderator. I sent her my links this morning. Um, to my Etsy shop and my uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook business page so she can 
moderate and answer questions. So she is in training. She's so good. She always helps her mama. And of course, everything's come off my fluff box, but I'm going to go ahead and get my wreath. We'll put it on that, and then I can really make it look better, and we can cut these tails. This was kind of just an impromptu um, live, so we could just do a, a little practice run. for um, Sunday, and Sunday I'm going to be making a ladybug wreath on my live. Not sure how I've got this twisted here so good, but I, I've got it twisted to where I can't get it off, so we'll just cut it loose. That takes care of that. Thank you, Laura. It's a big bow, but look at this big wreath. It needed a big bow. Look how big my patriotic wreath is. Can you see it? It's kind of, camera's kind of down. It's got this real cute um, God Bless America truck. So I wanted a big bow right down here on the bottom. So that's why it's going to fit so big. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to attach this down at the bottom. Are you getting any warmer weather yet, Laura? What time on Sunday? Um, I'll be um, on at um, 1 o'clock Central Time Sunday. I'm going to be making a ladybug wreath. I have a cute uh, ladybug. Remind me when we get done, I'll show you. Uh, the ladybug, a hand painting sign that my daughter made. Um, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And I also wanted to show you a couple more signs my daughter made that I got in this week for some upcoming um, wreaths I'll be making with her. I love her hand-painted signs. She does such a great job with those. Uh, this truly is turning into a family business because she helps me so much um, what, by making signs and now she's going to be moderating. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, Mary. I, I'm very proud of this wreath. I've been working on it since, uh, I guess I started on it kind of late last night. Like I said, it's got lots of layers of um, mesh on here, so it is a big wreath. And I'm trying to twist it without having to flip it over. Thank you, Casey. There's my moderator. One o'clock Central Time on Sunday, right here on Bow's Visions and Designs. Okay. Now that it's on here, we can really fluff this bow. And I've got some new um, embellishments in. Fourth of July embellishments that I got in the other day. I'm real excited about those. I was kind of getting a little slim on what I had. So I'm not used to having one with tails quite this long, but I wanted the tails to hang down. Oh, you didn't know what time we were doing it Sunday? I guess, Casey, I guess I should have told you what time we were going to be on Sunday. Bad Mom. Alright. Trying to get all these loops fluffed. And then I'm going to come back and dovetail to determine about how long we want them to be. Let me get this out of the way. Alrighty. So I want them to hang. I'm not quite sure how long I want them to hang. 
I'm going to go ahead and dovetail them. I'm trying to get them kind of even with each other, but I'm not quite sure how short I want them to be yet. So I don't want to cut too much. Dovetailing is just folding it in half and then cutting from the folded side to the, the other side. All right, so that made a pretty pretty little nice um, cut. Gives you that finished look. That's called, that's dovetailing. That one may have been a little deep. I don't normally make them quite that deep. That's probably more about the right, right there. Okay, dovetail these. Kind of like the, those to be about the same size. I love that one. Make this one a little bit smaller. Probably make this one. If you know, if you have your ones on the top too long, they're going to cover up the ones underneath. So I tend to always cut the ones that are up top a little bit shorter than the ones underneath. I think it's next to impossible to ever get completely satisfied with your bow. Uh, you're going to want to fluff it forever, but you want everything to show. All your different loops to show. All your tails to, to be just right. And then I have some really neat new embellishments I was excited, like I said, excited to get. So let me just clear that off the table. And I don't know, but I think I want something coming out of the top. So let's see, let me lift this up a little bit so you can get a better view of what we got so far. It's, just like I said, this is going to be a very big wreath. You see what we got so far? Of course, I'm crooked. So what do y'all think? So far, so good? All the pretty different patriotic colors. Like I said, this is a big, very, very full wreath with lots of multiple layers of mesh. Okay. And then for embellishments, let me put that back down. Okay, for embellishments, I got a few new items in. on the floor. I've got these. And then I have the little bottle rockets. I thought those were super cute when they came in because I definitely know I want something up here on the top um, coming out. I'm not sure exactly what yet. Um, let me move all this ribbon out of the way so I have a little more space over here. Any questions so far? Hey, Karen, where did I get the ribbons and sign? Um, the wreath shop is where I found it. And my favorite one that um, I got in, of course, I love the sign, the truck. But look at this ribbon. Isn't that just beautiful? I just love that. When that one came in, I had ordered two rolls. And I'm so glad I got two rolls of that one because I really, really love that, that pattern. Right, let's get some of these out of the way. A lot of my stuff has come from Craft Outlet, but now that, you know, Craft Outlet has been shutting down some, um, I've been giving more business to Trendy Tree and the Reef Shop and 
So uh, they take a lot longer um, to get in, to get stuff in, I think. I know when I did my craft outlet order, I think it was like on Monday. In two days, it was here. They're always so fast. All right, let's just put all this over here. Oh, before I forget, and I lose, before I lose anybody and get busy with embellishments, um, let me show you some of Casey's signs that, that she um, sent to me for upcoming wreaths. She's so, so talented. Okay. She has this one that's Hello Summer with all the little popsicles that have summer. It's got that little rustic look to it, so this could be real fun. I have some great mesh for that one. Um, she's got another welcome sign she made for me with the buffalo check, because I always love the buffalo plaid. So she made that one, and she's got all these little flowers, all these details on here. And then she made me this cute beach ball that says summertime. I thought that was darling. She's so talented. I love having original signs um, on, on a lot of my wreaths, some that you can't find somewhere else. Now, this this sign on this one, it did, she did not do. This did come from the wreath shop, but I think Trendy Tree has it. Um, I think Craft Outlet also has it, too. Um, and then let me show you Katie Bug, the ladybug, that we're going to make on Sunday. Sorry about having to walk away from you. Here's Katie Bug. Katie Bug. And then here is the sign. My daughter, her, her hand painted sign for that one. Yeah, cute as a bug. So we're going to have that beautiful sign and Katie Bug um, on that wreath. And that one will be live on Sunday. Uh, it's going to be another very full, cute wreath. I did um, order this uh, on Etsy. And when it came in, I changed the bow. I wanted to use some um, buffalo plaid. So I changed out the bow to be buffalo plaid. And then I also changed out the flower. Um, the flower was red and I wanted it to be, I wanted to incorporate some more yellow and different colors in the, the actual wreath, okay? So that's coming up on Sunday. Um, let's see what else I wanted to tell y'all. Um, I don't know if, if you guys want to watch me add embellishments to this or I don't, you know, I know this was kind of impromptu. I just wanted to make sure that um, my daughter could get on here and moderate for me. Um, I, I'm not, you know, it was just a basically a test. Um, so if you guys want to watch me pick out, um, some embellishments for this wreath. I'll be happy to keep you on live. If not, I'll be, you know, more than happy to let you go. I just wanted to show you how to make a bow on the uh, Easy Bow Maker. And I think the bow has turned out very pretty today. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. What do y'all think? It's upside down. What do y'all think about the bow? Sorry, it's hard to, hard to get things straight. Give me some thumbs up if you like the bow. Everybody's so quiet. Thank you, Casey. Thank you for um, getting on there and being my moderator today. Um, I will look forward then to coming back and seeing everybody on Sunday. Let me just pull this back up. Uh, again, my name is Valerie Bennett with Val's Visions and Designs. I would appreciate it if you would please like and share. Uh, if you could join my YouTube channel, Casey is giving you, um, thank you, thank you, Karen. Um, Casey is uh, moderating and giving you my links so you can uh, view other things on my Etsy shop. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm relatively new on that, but I am doing some lives on there, and I have uh, a helpful um one I just did the other day on different mesh, which mesh meshes worked best 
with a wood burner versus a rotary cutter so you know which one has the least frays. Uh, I compared six different brands um, and that was uh, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, Craft Outlet, and Joann's. So I had six different mesh that I compared. So that would be fun for you guys to watch. But um, that's all I really have for today. I just wanted to invite you to watch me make a bow and hope that you have a great evening tonight and look forward to seeing you back on Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time to make Katie Bug the Ladybug. So thanks everybody and have a great day. Bye.